friends we are going to the next topic which is nothing but the tribunals okay i hope you get some understanding about the tribunals because we have studied newspaper and everything you come across this tribunals and i hope you know the uh, crux of this what is this tribunals okay so what is the difference tribunals nothing but uh, it is like a, a judiciary only okay like our supreme court and high court uh, tribunals like a court only which is the main name of this tribunals is to uh, what to say to uh, to face the disputes okay disputes relating to the matters okay to, to face the disputes related to the matters that is the prime aim of this tribunals okay so what is the difference between your tribunals and the judiciary that is your high court and supreme court is this your tribunals is a less formal one your tribunals can be set up and it can be run or administered in a less formal way on the other hand your judiciary has a formal thing because we have something called cpc okay uh, uh, your supreme court and high court uh, will have to adhere to that cpc okay the, but here and all you don't have any structure like that uh, if uh, if uh, for example i'll say if you are approaching a case means if a supreme court and high court if you are going there is a procedure for applying okay first you should apply then uh, time gap is there then you should wait then you should go for legal hearing like that some steps are, by steps are there so it will take a long process when you go for a supreme court or high court to get your case resolved you will get some long time but since in tribunals it is not having any formal thing it is just a body okay it is just a body uh, it will consist of both administrative and the judicial uh, heads in there okay tribunals so they will adhere to the uh, dispute between us and they will give a solution okay so it is a less formal thing so it will take a less time only so within a quick time you will get some uh, remedy to your problems okay so that is the best thing of this tribunal this tribunal uh, is not present in the original text of the constitution it has been provided by the 42nd amendment act 42nd amendment brought out article 323a and article 323b okay these two provisions were added by the 42nd amendment act so in this your article 323a deals with recruitment and condition okay that is very important rc recruitment and condition of service of both public state local public corporation and so on okay so that is very important recruitment and condition i have told okay so recruitment means uh, recruitment of public service at center and state level okay we are getting recruited as ias or ipas or ifs okay so in that recruitment stage if if there is any dispute or if there are any problem then you can go to this tribunal by the fact of 323a okay like that that is the main crux of this tribunal okay so there are many tribunals okay in if you say there are environmental tribunals and this tribunal is for public service related tribunals okay that, that i am teaching about the public service related tribunals and in 323b uh, it is other tribunals okay so there are many tribunals so another one main uh, differentiation between a judiciary and your tribunal is in judiciary okay it is not a it, it is just a general thing there is no specific but here you have every specific thing for environment that you are having tribunal for public service that you are having tribunal so if you go to environment tribunal the, the members or the chairman or vice chairman will be uh, of uh, environment background okay they will be having good knowledge of environment so when you approach them for environment dispute you will get a easy uh, easy uh, solution but uh, on the other hand if you go to supreme court you can approach environment uh, environment related problems to supreme court also but it is not we are not sure that your supreme court judge and the members present there will have a good knowledge about the environment it is not needed because we have studied now in supreme court qualification there is no such qualification that your judge should have some knowledge of your this environment and about the history geography and all it is not mentioned in the constitution so uh, if tribunal means it is it will be set for a specific purpose like environment tribunal for public service tribunal like for employment tribunal like that for specific purpose it will be set up by on the other hand this gen, your supreme court and the judiciary integrated judicial system is just a general one okay that is a, another difference so this 323a deals with recruitment and condition of post of um, public state local body and public corporation and on the other hand your 323b deals with uh, tribunals for other matters so you can set up tribunals for other matters uh, according to this 323b okay so based on this 323a okay the government has come up with something called administrative tribunals act administrative administrative tribunal act of 1985 okay by this 323a your government has passed some administrative tribunal act of 1985 okay so we are having 
We are going to study about the CAT, SAT and JAT. So next we are going to see about the CAT, SAT and JAT which is nothing but your Central Administrative Tribunal and your State Administrative Tribunal and JAT means Joint Administrative Tribunal. Okay. So by this Act of 323A, a government has passed the Indian Administrative Act of 1985. Okay. So with that Act, a government has set up something called CAT which is nothing but the Central Administrative Tribunal. Okay. So there are some posts which is uh, which is uh, which is for the center that is called the central post and for state we are having respective state posters okay so in common we are having all in their service okay so the post the public post or the government post under central level uh, that will be related to the cat okay it is having the principal head head office at delhi it is headed in delhi and it is having something called Original jurisdiction. Your CAT is having original jurisdiction, which is nothing but uh, while dealing with judiciary topic at all. What is original jurisdiction? Uh, which is having the right to hear at the first level. Okay. So when you're having, when you are, when you're facing a dispute relating to your recruitment condition of service or the, at the center level, you can uh, you can go to this tribunal at the first level itself. Okay. You can't go to Supreme Court or High Court. First, you can go to this CAT. Okay. That is Central Administrative Tribunal. That is the thing with uh, CAT. And also, uh, what and all are covered, okay? Which which post are under which post are covered under the CAT? Your as I told you earlier, your uh, central public uh, post and the civil post under the central and the civilian employees of the different service, okay? That is very important. The civilian employees, okay? There will be some civilian employees in the uh, central in the armed forces, okay? They will also come under this. Central Administrative Tribunal. So I am again repeating the Central Civil Service and the Civil Service under the Central and the uh, civilian employees, the civilian employees of the armed service. Okay, these members will come under the jurisdiction of the CAT. Okay, the another one very important thing is who under will not come. That is very important. Who under will not come? The armed forces. The armed forces will not come. And your secretarial staff of parliament, we know there are some secretarial staff of the parliament, they are also will not come under the uh, seat, okay, they will not come, this, I am talking about the not, okay, that is very important than who is coming under, because UPC can ask a question about that, who and all will come under this, like, they will ask a list, and you have to choose the correct one. Okay. So, secretary staff of parliament will not come under that. And your, uh, what to say, the staff of Supreme Supreme Court. Okay. The, they will not also come, the officers and servants. Okay. It, it is not staff. It is actually the officers and servants. Okay. The officers of servants of Supreme Court and secretary staff of the parliament and your armed forces. Okay. Armed forces will not come under the CAT because they are having a separate thing called the military code. Okay, you all, you all know about the military code. Okay, so they are having separate military code. So they will not come under this, and these two also will not come under the CAT. Okay, so that is with the CAT. So next we will see about the composition of CAT. Okay, so what is the composition of CAT? Uh, Central Administrative Tribunal's composition it will consist of uh, a chairman and Vice chairman plus some members. Okay, so again I am repeating these chairman, vice chairman members. Okay, they will be from. Okay, they will be taken from both the judiciary and administrative posters. Okay, your retired Supreme Court judges or some IAS officers, retired IAS officers or the serving IAS officers. They will be these board members. Okay, so in principle, not only judiciary. Okay, not only it will consist of the uh, judicial member. Okay, it's a multi-member body, so it will consist of both your judicial and the administrative officials. Okay, that is very important. Who will appoint them? That is very very important. Okay, as usual, it is by the president. So all the chairman, your vice chairman, all the members are appointed by the president. Okay, that is very important. And with respect to your chairman and vice chairman. All the okay, your chairman, your vice chairman members, all are having a tenure of five years. Okay, all are having a tenure of five years. In case of chairman, vice chairman, it is sixty-five years, and members, it is sixty-two. Okay, um, all are having a tenure of five years, or else sixty-five years. Okay, here members five-year tenure, or else sixty-two years. Whichever whichever is earlier, that will be taken into account. Okay.
so that is with your uh, composition of cat as i told it's a multi member body appointed by the president and it will consist of both your judicial and the administrative officials okay that is with the cat so uh, your uh, central administrative tribunal is a multi member body and appointed by the president that is clear okay so your this central uh, administrative tribunal is not bound not bound by your cpc that is your civil procedures code of 1908 okay they are not by this they are not bound okay they are not bound by this cpc of 1908 what is this cpc that is your civil procedures code okay so there are many codes okay uh, like your uh, supreme court and high court under the high court every state is every state is having some high court and in common we are having supreme court okay that is structure of a judiciary but way back in 1859 okay 1859 only it started before uh, before the introduction of the supreme court in this integrated judicial system in india uh, we have we had okay actually we had many courts under the presidency okay like madras presidency madras presidency will have some court and bengal presidency will have some court and there is no relation between all these courts okay all are having some uh, what to say they are having some dissimilar functions and they are having some dissimilar procedures that is not a common procedure okay so in 1859 only it was started okay this cpc if you if you want uh, that if you if you trace back history of this uh, civil procedures court it started in 1859 okay um uh, it, it it started as a initial way only but uh, a strong foundation was given to the civil procedures court by charles wood okay uh, the general at that time charles wood gave a final structure to the cpc and from that okay from that it, it got amended in 1908 it was uh, it got a full structure as a, a civil procedures court okay nothing if you go and uh, see the civil procedures court there will be some procedures followed by all the courts how how high court should follow some procedures what a supreme court should follow procedure like that all the procedures the time gap everything will be there okay this cpc should be followed by the supreme court high court and other lower courts so my point is this cat is not bound okay it is not bound by this civil procedures court then in what way it is doing it is by natural justice okay your uh, central administrative uh, central administrative tribunal is functioning uh, with the way of natural justice so what is natural justice they are having two points under natural justice one is that is no one should be a judge okay no one should be a judge in their own case itself okay uh, for example uh, a case is there a, a case related is there uh, a person who is related to that case should not head that case should not be a judge of that case that is one thing and the other the, the, the next class of this natural justice is this legal hearing which is nothing the fair hearing everyone should be given a chance okay everyone should be heard that should not be in discrimination that uh, he either he, uh, he is uh, poor or rich or he belong to caste creed sex and all that should not be in discrimination and everyone should be given a fair hearing okay that this is the two class person natural justice okay first one is uh, no one should head their own no one should be a judge to their own case next one is fair hearing okay these two are uh, under natural justice so cat is not bound by cpc but it is following the natural justice okay that is with cat don't forget that is very very important with respect to cat is it is a multi member body consisting of chairman vice chairman other members all these are uh, all these are appointed by the president and they are having a tenure of 5 years okay with respect to chairman and vice chairman it is 65 years and your members it is 62 years okay so that is with uh, central administrative tribunal next we are going to the state administrative tribunal okay before one thing uh there is a doubt okay if you are having some problem with the recruitment or condition of your post and you are going to tribunal okay your tribunal is giving a judgment okay if you are okay with that judgment it is okay if you are not okay okay if you are not okay with judgments can you approach the supreme court yes you can definitely approach the supreme court okay your supreme court or high court is not having a or to say not having a jurisdiction but with the appeal okay with uh, the final judgment you can go to the supreme court okay that final judgment of tribunal you can go to supreme court okay if you are having a problem with the recruitment condition of your public service you can't approach the supreme court at the first year itself you should go for tribunal only because i told your tribunal is having the original jurisdiction okay not your supreme court high court you can go to the tribunal at the first level okay 
next if you are not okay with that then with the judgment you can go to the supreme court that is that is uh, that is present okay but the high court okay your, your high court is not having that jurisdiction okay your, your high court you can't approach high court with the decision of the uh, cat you can go to supreme court but not to the high court okay this was also uh, now it is not there because in 1997 with chandra kumar case a case called okay in this 1997 chandra kumar case the supreme court told that uh, this restriction on high court this restriction on high court is unconstitutional and now you can approach high court also okay here i told you can't approach high court with the final judgment of your cat you can go to only supreme court but not high court this was a earlier, earlier thing but now after this case your supreme court told that this this looks something like unconstitutional and you can go to high court also okay so now first if you having any problem with your for this will be useful for your ias and ips if you got elected and if you if you got selected to IA, ias and ips and if you are facing some recruitment issues or conditions the first thing you should you should go is to the tribunal okay if the tribunal will award a decision or solution to you if you are not okay with that solution then you can approach a supreme court or your high court both you can approach okay that is very clear okay you can approach to both supreme court and high court as of now before only supreme court now after this case both supreme court and high court okay that is with cat so next is sat sat means you all know it is state administrative tribunal so it is state that it is central so the post which is common to the state level it will be carried carried by the central administrative tribunal all the service under the state government employment under the state will come under this uh, state administrative tribunal okay so it is also by the president okay all the members chairman vice chairman all the members are appointed by the president in consultation with the governor okay so you can't come to conclusion that usually as people think like that only state administrative tribunal they will take the word state state means governor okay so it is appointed by governor it is not so okay your state administrative tribunal is also appointed by the president only with the consultation of the governor okay that is your state administrative tribunal so this state administrative tribunal will be set up only if the state is requesting okay only if uh, one or two state request then only your central government will set up this uh, state administrative tribunal so it is not a permanent body and all if a problem if a state demands then central government will set up this state administrative tribunal uh, in most of the state this uh, sat is present but uh, in madhya pradesh and tamil nadu it has been abolished okay so that is with your state administrative tribunal next we are going to the jat which is, which is the joint administrative tribunal what is joint administrative tribunal for or to say for two or more states okay a common thing okay if tamil nadu and karnataka are going and approach center uh, approaching a center for a common uh, administrative tribunal it is known as a joint administrative tribunal so it will be set up uh, both for a center uh, both for a state okay for both state there is a common uh, tribunal that is known as the joint administrative tribunal and it is also by the president president only will nominate the members of this jat okay so with that we are coming to the uh, end of this 323 a okay we have, i covered cat sat and jat in both this uh, cat sat and jat it is the members the chairman vice chairman and members all are appointed by the president okay so next we are going to the next article that is nothing but 323 b okay so by this 323 a there are three things cat sat and jat by 323 b it is for other matters tribunals can be set up for other matters so have a clean distinction by 323a by 323a you are having uh, you can set up tribunals only for the recruitment and condition of public service at the center state local body public corporation by 323b you can set up tribunals for all the matters all the matters you are having yeah what are all matters we are having that is you can you can have a code word tifer tifer is a cheat code okay t for taxation i for industrial issues f for foreign uh, foreign exchange and this f for food stuff and this e for elections of your state legislative assembly and this r for rent and tenancy okay so this is very important okay e is there that is election election of your state legislator that, that for that also you can go, you can go for this you can set up a tribunal okay this r for rent and tenancy okay if you are uh, if you are, if, if you are rent, renting a house then a problem arises between the owner and a owner and a tenant means then they can um, go for a tribunal okay so that is 
the things this code word is very important differ so for these matters a tribunal can be set up okay i told for all matters no all matters means it, it is not it, it is not uh, for, for anything at all you, you can set up for this what and i told no the differ for that you can set up a tribunal okay so that is uh, with the 323b so what is the main difference we'll see between 323a and 323b as you all know for 323a we, it is set up only for the public services okay but for 323 you can set up for all other matters that is the basic difference and other difference is in the 323a the power is with the parliament only okay that is very important in 323a the power is with only the parliament your parliament can only set up these cat sat and jat but with respect to your 323b both your parliament and state legislature can set up the tribunals that is a very very important distinction between your 323a and 323b okay that was another difference that is your by the 323a you can set up a tribunal at the central level okay your tribunal at the central level can be set up by C, uh, cat and by uh, sat by state administrative tribunal you can set up a uh, tribunal at the state level okay so there is no hierarchy in there okay it is not like your uh, state uh, your cent, uh, your state administrative tribunal is uh, under it is subordinate under the sat tribunal okay it is an integrated one but by 323a you can set up a hierarchy of tribunals okay so in 323a there is no hierarchy but in 323b it is it is having a hierarchy okay so with that we are coming to the end of the tribunals so uh, very important point is all the chief minister chief uh, chairperson vice chairperson members all are appointed by the president only okay so with that we are coming to the end of tribunals so don't forget this tribunal is not present in the constitution it is by the 42nd amendment act only we have we got this two acts okay so with that i am ending the tribunals thank you